Oh, me and me, cousin, what Arthur McBride as we went walking down by the seaside. Now Mark would follow, and what did betide for it being on Christmas morning? Out for recreation, we went on a tramp, and we met Sergeant Nepper and Corporal Bem, and a little wee drummer intending to camp for the day being pleasant and charming. Good morning, good morning, the sergeant did cry, and the same to gentlemen we did reply, intending no harm, just meant to pass by, for it be on Christmas morning. But says he, my fine fellows, if you will enlist, it's ten guineas of gold I will slip in your fist. And a crown for the bargain, for to clear up the dust, and drink the king's health in the morning. <clears throat> for a soldier, he leads a very fine life, and he always is blessed by a charming young wife. And he ends up his death without sorrow and strife, and he always lives pleasant and charming. And a soldier, he always is decent and clean in the finest of clothing he's constantly seen. While other poor fellows are dirty and mean and suffer and then gruel in the morning. But says Arthur, I wouldn't be proud of your clothes and I neither did for you've only the lend of them, as I suppose. But you dare not have to change, change them one night, for you know, if you do, you'll get flogged in the morning. And although we are single and free, we take great delight in our own company. And we have no desire, strange places to see, although that your offers are charming. And we have no desire to take your advance, all hazards and dangers we barter on chance. For you'd have no scruples to send us to France, but we would get shot without warning. Oh no, says the sergeant, I'll have no such chance, and I neither will take it from small peanut brat. For if you insult me with one other word, I'll cut off your head in the morning. And Arthur and I, we soon draw our hogs, and we scarce give them time for to draw their own blogs. When a trusty shillelagh came over their head and bid them take that as fair warning. And their old rusty rapiers and sun by their sides, we flung them as far as we could in the tide. Now take them up, devils, cried Arthur McBride, and temper the red in the morning. I'm rocking. And the little, little drummer we flattened his bow, and we made a football of his rowdy dow dow. Oh, <laughs> no, that was speaking of <laughs> Threw in the tide for to rock and to roll, and made it a tedious returning. And we, having no money, paid them off in cracks. We paid no respect to their two bloody backs. <laughs> For we <laughs> and we lathered them there like a pair of wet sacks and, and left them, them for dead in the morning. morning. Nice. And so to conclude and to finish dispute, we obligingly asked if they wanted recruits. We were the lad who would give them hard clouts. And made them look sharp in the morning. Oh, me and me, cousin, what Arthur McBride, as we went walking down by the seaside. 
Now Mark would follow, and what different time would it be on Christmas morning? Would it be on Christmas morning?